Welcome to this short video that's going to show you a little bit more of how you can use your PQ3000 frame to quilt a quilt. So, as you can see, I have my machine, placed it up on the top platform. Also make sure that all the cables are threaded through the cable guide at the back so that uh, they don't hang up on the, on the tracks. Okay, so now we need a quilt. And here's one I've already put on poles. Slide the whole thing underneath the uh, needle and press a foot on your machine. And clamp this part to the front. Now this part I'm going to actually clamp because it overhangs just a little bit. I'm going to clamp it around the clamping shelf. Just like that. This one I'm going to clamp to here. Right. So that puts my quilt at a nice even tension. And I'm actually going to, I'm just going to clamp this. I just want to make sure that it's it's supported. It doesn't have to be um, real, real tight. Okay, so let us sit down and let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do any time I start, and that's Kate from the quilting dog, that you can hear whining in the background. And I'm always going to bring my bobbin thread up so that all the threads are above the quilt. Okay, and I'm going to, I've set my um, speed limiter on my machine so that I know that I can put my foot down and I know exactly what speed it's going to go so I don't have to worry about where my foot is. So, okay. there we go. So I've got my foot flat to the floor, floor and that's as, that's as fast as my machine is going to run. So now I don't have to worry about how fast my machine is running. I just need to move my hand at the right speed that gives me the consistent stitch length that I like to have. This quilt, which is um, going to be a charity quilt, I'm just going to meander. Now I did um, spray base this quilt before I started. And what do you know? The bobby man out.